Hey guys, Andrew the Rag Company, and are you as excited as I am? I'll give you a minute. Think about it. Okay, you are perfect because in this box is the new Rupes HLR15, the cordless machine that is going to change the detailing game, possibly. So in today's video, we're going to be doing an unboxing as well as I'm going to give you my first impressions. But here in the future content, we're going to be putting this machine to the test and see is it good, is it bad, and weighing out all the pros and cons. So make sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe down below so you don't miss any of that future content. So jumping into this, this box is pretty sweet because you got one flap, you got two flaps, and holy smokes, the whole thing comes off. So setting this aside, we can take a look at all of the goods inside. This is going to be the full meal deal and have everything you need in here so you can jump in and start polishing. So what do you have inside this awesome, cool kit. We're gonna start with the pads first. So we have ooh, one yellow pad, foam pad, another yellow foam pad, awesome, one of my favorites. Then we have, oh, this is fancy. This is the new intermediate DA pad that they launched at SEMA along with this machine. It's in this really cool kind of hyper blue, ultra blue color, and it's kind of, it's firmer than that of the yellow pad, but not as firm as the full Rupes blue pad. So we're gonna have to put that to you. So I'm gonna give you my thoughts later. So we have two of those, which is pretty sweet and uh, four pads total, not a bad deal. And then we jump into, oh, one of my favorite, the blue coarse wool. This is an amazing pad. If you haven't used this yet, you have to try it. Uh, whether you have a Rupes machine or not, that pad is just insanely nice. And we get two of them. All right, and then lastly here, oh, another favorite. The yellow wool, this is probably my, this actually is my go-to compounding and overall cutting pad. This is one of my favorites. It keeps the heat down. The blue is amazing, but I'm just a sucker for this yellow wool. And you're gonna get two of them in this new eco-friendly packaging. So all in all, we have two, four, six, eight pads, eight pads and eight good pads. Not just like eight any pads, like eight awesome pads in this kit, which is really cool. So uh, next year we're gonna take out, what's this? What is this? DA system microfiber towel. I'm gonna give this a pass because this kit is so awesome. But if you're looking to find premium microfiber products, then make sure to subscribe down below to the Rag Company YouTube channel. So don't be like this microfiber towel, be better than that and subscribe down below. Okay, now back to the video. Oh, yo, you do want me to open it up. Okay, all right. We're just gonna open it up, because why not? Okay, not bad. One towel. So that's obviously not gonna do a whole lot. So make sure you pick up more towels from us. But this is not bad, right? Edgeless, looks like a kind of a dual pile Terry style weave. It is soft, white in color, not bad. Next up here, nice. DA fine yellow, DA coarse blue. Awesome products, love these. Paired with these pads, you're gonna have a killer combination. Here we go, uh, from here, big box. This looks like it is our, oh, found it. Charging station. Pull that out. Oh, that's pretty fancy. That's actually quite nice. Rupes has always made really nice charging stations. Uh, the one on the hybrid, still awesome. Still working all these years later. I've had that for I don't know how many years now. But this feels high quality. Looking at this, we have our plug in here on the back and then some LED lights to signal the charge. Inside here, power cable for that. And then you are going to get two batteries, which is pretty cool because that means you can pretty much polish forever and ever. Why one battery is charging, the other one can be in the machine. You really never stop working. Uh, there's a lot of people out there that hate the new battery technology, but for what it's worth, man, when you have two batteries, and especially being lithium ion batteries, you're gonna be able to work for a long period of time. You're not gonna have to worry about the battery running out unless you forgot to charge them. So it's kind of all on you at the end of the day. But opening these things up, that's really on there. This looks like an 18 volt, five amp, you know what that means? 18 volt, five amp battery. Okay, 18 amp, five amp. 18 volt, five amp battery. 
Got a little bit of heft, but nothing crazy. Throw that on the charger here. That is, that is quite satisfying. That's a nice click. I like that. Next up, other battery. Throw that on the charger as well. Nice, that's clean. Now, if you're wondering, these batteries do actually have the rubber protector on them. So in case you were to maybe drop them or drop the machine, you do have this outer rubber area to protect it. And then if you press this button right here, you're gonna be able to see your charge. I am at two bars on this particular battery. Sweet, are you ready? Are you ready for the main event? Do you want that tomahawk steak? Cause it's coming baby. I'm so excited. I am, I'm thrilled. Months, months I have waited for this moment since SEMA. They gave me a bite of the steak, just a bite. I want the whole damn thing. All right, so opening this up here, you're going to get our information as well as a little Allen wrench. And then we're gonna pull out our main machine. Dude, this thing is so sick. Oh, gorgeous. That carbon fiber look that it has to it, the feel of this thing, the trigger lock. Check that out. I don't think they had this at seam. I don't think there was a trigger lock on it. So I think now you have to, well, that's easy. Just press the button down and then lock it. Oh, sweet dude. Okay, all right, all right. Then we have our felt backing here and then, gosh, dude, this thing is, this thing's gorgeous. This backing plate is a completely new design. Very, very thin, very cool looking. You have your LEDs coming down the side here on both sides, which is super cool. But this carbon fiber look, I, some people might think it's, it's cheesy, but they've been doing this for so many years with this kind of carbon fiber overlay that they used to have on the uh, kind of the headstock here on the handle. Um, that I think it translates well to, you know, all these years down the road. So um, rubberization here on the trigger. You have the rubber here trailing all the way to this little bump rest where you can put the machine on its back like that and it's not going to damage anything. But in the hand, I think the thing that stands out the most to me is going to be this rubberized, uh, this textured bit right here. It kind of feels like I'm grabbing a piece, if you know what I mean. And so putting my hand on that, gosh, that feels really nice. And the other big thing you're going to notice is the weight. This thing is so freakishly light, but now we need to see if it's still gonna be as light with a battery in it. So to install the battery here, we're just gonna grab this, slide it into the little channel, and then give it a nice pop. Ooh, that is so cool. Seeing the blue light up there, that is so awesome. And this is also gonna be a battery indicator, if I remember right, from SEMA, which means it's going to flash at you, uh, letting you know that the battery is running low so you can get it back on the charger and swap out to the other battery. So speed setting of one right now, we're gonna go ahead and press our little trigger lock. Dude, this is, uh, this is nuts. This is, this is way too awesome. So let's go ahead and throw a pad on here. Let's see how it feels, how balanced it feels. We have the new DA intermediate pad. It says it's high performance cut and finish foam pad. So uh, we don't sell these individually yet. As far as I know here at the rag company, they're only coming in this kit, but I believe eventually that we will be pulling them on into our main inventory. So lining up our pad here, getting it right over the nut, taking a look. You can't tell me that's not one of the coolest machines that you guys have seen. And based on when I was talking to the guys over at Rupes at SEMA, I asked them, I said, is this like, is this the new, basically uh, LHR 15 Mark IV? Is that what you guys are calling? And they said, no, it is not the Mark IV. I believe that's gonna be something different. This is the HLR 15. This is in its own category, just like the HLR 75 using their hybrid technology. And so um, anyways, turning this thing on again, Button in, lock it. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it up to six. This thing's got power. This thing has got some serious power. 
I'm very impressed. So I would say as far as my first impressions go, color me impressed. This is probably one of the better feeling machines that I have felt in years. Not just the weight, but just the overall stability, the feel of it. I cannot wait to put some more hours behind this thing, but we wanted to make this quick unboxing video just to kind of show you what you're getting and give you my genuine first impressions because this is like opening up a new toy. So hope you guys learned something new today. Again, make sure to subscribe down below so you can see the next video where we put this thing to the use and I give you my list of pros and cons. So as always, thanks for watching and as always, have a fantastic day. See ya. All right, quarter test, one hand. What? Amazing.